Hello loves, it's Kelly and welcome to my channel and happy Saturday everyone. Today I have a project share for Saturday Morning Makes, which is also hashtag SatMornMakes, an open collaboration here on YouTube hosted by Jillian Norwood and I will link her channel down below. It is open to everyone who'd like to play along to share what you've worked on today or maybe something earlier in the week. And in my case, my son is leaving for Boy Scout camp. It is 4 a.m. my friends and he is heading out of state of Florida on a great big adventure. I'm super excited for him and his friends. But of course, I'm a mom. I'm worried. So I did what I do best when I'm worried. <laughs> and that's craft. And this is what I created just a little while ago. I put together this set of beautiful and quick and easy little note cards. And I just love how these turned out. Let me walk you through how I made these and then we'll make one together. It's really easy. I promise. And so sweet. These have that little romantic feel and I just absolutely love how these turned out. These are just with a simple sheet of paper from a book that I had from college days and actually it's a set of poetry <laughs> and I just love how these are all just put together with a little bit of glue, some paper, a ribbon and twine and a button. This is the uh, book paper and it is measured out to the nine inches in length and then it is at five inches across. I have already die cut all of the inside as well and the rest is just some torn paper that I had left over that I just did a little bit of ripping. So this is an example of what one of them looks like really easy to make my friends on the inside I did use a round stitched corner from my favorite things I ran that through my big shot and so this is just some cardstock added a little more of that ripped paper and there you go I think the hardest part was finding all of the buttons that I wanted to use so there's this one I love how this has these funny titles as well and then there's the last one. So let me walk you through these on how I made this. I started out with this book of poetry, which I think is just so beautiful. Oh my goodness, I love that. Here's one of those sheets. So of course, it's just already die, uh, already cut down to the size. This is nine in length from the book that was already in the book and then I trimmed it to five inches across otherwise it would have looked like this has that really rustic rugged edge which I do love I do love rustic but in this case since I'm using the rounded corner I did need that to be trimmed off all right let's jump right in I scored this at the three and a half mark which is, this is book paper, so you have to be really super careful and do this with a gentle touch, unlike cardstock where you have to, you know, score it several times. This is a really, really light touch at the three and a half mark. I just do it once like a little gentle baby. <laughs> There's one, and then I turn it around to the other side and I score it at the two inch mark, and that's it. That is all we do. No gluing on this at all. Since this is the top and the title, I do fold it inward so that that will be on the top. I think we are done with this one. And then this one gets folded up into, there's that score mark. Kind of hard to see since it doesn't have that big ginormous crease <laughs> from the scoring. There we go. And then of course you can always go back over this with the bone folder. And if it's not straight, which I see a tiny little bit of my edge is off like that. If it looks like it might be off just a little bit, I just use my little trimmer and run it through here again and just do a little snip snip. Something like that. That, there we go, easy to do. Then I take the rounder corner and, and this one I'm using the middle one. So it has a large, a tiny little one and then I'm using this one right here in the middle. And then I just do all of the four corners. I think it just gives it that something little extra by doing these little corners here. And then here again. I hope everybody's doing awesome today. I hope everybody's doing really well. Whoops. It's going to be just me here for a little while until my son gets back. <laughs> oh my goodness. 
This worked like a charm, I promise. And now look what I just did. We're just gonna keep going. We're just gonna keep rolling with it. I haven't had any troubles with this at all since until just now. So let's do this. Let's just straighten that out. There's always a way to fix things. I'll use the next size up and there we go. Just use the next size up and no one will know. <laughs> no one will know that these corners are not the same rounder. And then on the inside, I do use one of those. So I just put a little bit of glue on the back. And then in here, super gentle. And on this one, I try not to use liquid glue, which I love my liquid glue. Because I find that the paper is too... It's too tender. It's too, it will warp very easily. So I just set this down in here with a little bit, any type of adhesive will work. And then this one I did already off to the side, but it is a plain little sheet of cardstock. And then I just rip up some paper. I find what I think looks the best. And then I just do this. I just glue down whatever little pieces that are there. That is all that you do for this part, my friends. So that's all I do there. And then for the top, I find any other little pieces that I have that look like they would be a beautiful fit, like this one here. I love these roses. And this paper is from the P13. This comes all the way from Poland, my friends. This is the uh, P13 brand of paper love love this there's the name if you want to have a gather at trying to <laughs> read that and pronounce that i have a brother who's in the military is actually stationed there so that is uh, a beautiful beautiful uh city where he's at so this is going to go like that still a little too tall and I love, again, that rustic look. I love torn edges. I love things that are all like, you know, not so precise and uniform. So I'm gonna just go ahead and rip the tops of these ones. Gives us that little extra something that I call drama. <laughs> I love that look. So this is just gonna go like that. And there are no like little glues here. So this is going to actually close itself. As you can see here, they stay closed. And that's from the weight of the button, the glue, the twine, and that lace. So I do have a little bit of lace that I have. This is where the liquid glue comes in. Very small amount. I just put it right here in the middle. Just like that. A little bit right there. Then I just set this down on here. This takes maybe a couple of minutes to dry. And then all I did is I went through my stash and I found some buttons that I think would be a great match. And then I just put some uh, twine. This is actually not twine, embroidery floss, which I loved the color, which is here, here, here. And this one is a little bit of twine. I just add a little bit here, just a little bit. And it takes just a minute or two to dry. Hello, Mr. Oliver. He's trying to figure out why I'm up at 4 a.m. <laughs> because I'm waiting. Oh my goodness. My son and my husband are on route to the drop off. And this mama here is a little worried. <laughs> oh my goodness. So that's all you do. And the weight of the button, the twine, the glue will actually hold this into place. Once that's dry, it will be just like this one. The little friends here and they'll stay put. There you go. That's all you do. I love, love this. It's just super, super easy, super fun. Even a little wax seal would be fun like this one here. It's a little card that I did the other day. Put a little wax. That would even be cute there. But I love this. This is a beautiful little set. Now I have five. <laughs> there you go. And it's easy because you can write a little note on the inside. Put these in a beautiful little handmade envelope as well. And this would even be pretty for gift giving. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, my baby. There you go. So I put this in a little bit of this rope and made a little gift set. 
just like that. And that's all you do, my friends. So that is what I have to share. It just took a couple of minutes to put these together. And I think that just turned out so beautiful. Absolutely love them. All I did was use a book, some paper, a little bit of this uh, ribbon twine button, which I have several of these. I just keep them in these bags. Look how many is in here. So I think some of the most fun is taking the time to go through all those buttons. And I'm a tactile person, so I love the touch and the feel. The wooden stamps on my hands are digging through all those buttons. Or even just, you know, the feel of this little embroidery floss. Choosing the right colors. Ah, oh, I love it, love it, love it. There you go, my friends. Like I like to say a lot. Follow that hashtag. It'll lead you to a wonderful playlist of everyone's shares for today on this Saturday. And uh, that's it for this one, my friends. As always, thank you for watching. Watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate my new subscribers. And if you like this content, please consider a thumbs up, hitting that subscription button. Leave me a comment so I can find your channel. And that's going to be it for this video, my friends. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.